What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're back with Cupid's Corner Super Bowl Edition. That's right. So we want to give you guys some tips and tricks so couples can enjoy the big game together. I think that's really important. You know, most guys out there, they like football, right? It's just built in our genes. a man's man's game. We like to see our teams win. And Super Bowl is that big game. It's like, you know, the utmost highest peak that you can possibly get in the competition, right? It's the best of the best. Two teams battling out to be the Super Bowl champs this year in football. But most guys like it, but some girls, they might not like football. I mean, you can pretend. Yeah. So what do you do to really get your partner involved in the big game? And there's some different tips and tricks that me and Trish are going to throw at you guys that will hopefully help you guys have a great time in this big game for Super Bowl and have a fun time doing it. So let's talk about some of the different things that you can do. Of course, she takes the ball. <laughs> so some of the different things that you can do, right? If it's just you and your significant other, right, because COVID is going on, we might not be able to have big Super Bowl parties, or you just want to be safe, or you just want to be with your partner alone at home relaxing. Fine. Okay, so it's real simple and real easy. If you guys both like football, and there are women out there that like football, right? I mean, I like football. I don't like to watch football, but I do like to throw football because I'm good at it. (laughs) She is good. She can definitely throw football. I will vouch for that. She's good (laughs) athletic. So there's a lot of athletic women out there. There's a lot of women out there that like football. You know, and if that is the case for you guys, that's probably the, the best case that you guys could possibly have, right? Because you both enjoy this game. You guys can watch the game together and know what's going on per se and enjoy it together and kind of root for the same team or against each other, however you want to do it. Mm-hmm. Which goes right along into our second part of this. If the girl or your wife or partner does not like football, okay? Like I said, you can pretend. Because right. listen, at the end of the day, we all have to remember that you know, this particular sport can bring males and females together. Even if you don't like the sport, you can still get together and have a good time, eat food, have a couple of drinks. Yes, I said you can have a couple social drinks. Yes, I said yeah, that. Yeah. Um, but, you know, be able to socialize and have fun with some friends or even just by yourselves. It's, you know, it's a time for you to be able to just hang out, have a good yeah. time. Yeah. And if, if that, like I said, if it's just you and them, or you and your significant other, your partner, and she doesn't like football, make it competitive, right? Pick one team, the other person picks another team, and you guys can have a little wager of who wins the game. Mm-hmm. So you guys will be more involved, be more entertaining. Like she wants to win it, whether it's an IOU or a favor for each other, you know, you could be doing the dishes that night or a massage or whatever it is, <laughs> okay? Um, and the girl's going to get into it. She's going to want to win. She's going to want to get that prize, whatever it is. And so are you. So it's really a double whammy or a double win for you guys because you'll be winning watching the game with your significant other partner and hopefully winning that bet and winning that IOU. Girls rule. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> the next thing is, is having a, a safe Super Bowl party, mm-hmm. okay? Because COVID's out there, there's a lot of restrictions in place of what should be going on, you know, and depending on which state you live in, you know, who should be over, how many people should be over, or what you got to do. So the biggest thing I could say is, is try to keep your circle small for Super Bowl. Um, try not to be around a lot of people in public if you, you don't have to wear your mask, mm-hmm. you know, these different things that people, they want us to do. Um, but if you're having a small gathering, have fun with each other. Like literally, like the guys and the girls can both talk about different things, whether it be the sport or other things that are going on. I think that's that's left out. Usually people just separate. You know, I've seen like girls going to one room mm. and guys going to another. That's no fun, right? Um, you know, and some of the girls just don't want to be around football, and that's kind of the reason why. But I think if you're together with your partner, you're going to enjoy it. You're going to bond in one way, shape, or form. Yeah, I mean, even if you're – I mean, honestly, I'm just trying to think outside the box because I'm not like that. But, um, you know, if I was like that, what would I do if I was a female that was like that? I mean, I'd probably – you know, because usually – you're having it in like a living room area, right? With like mm-hmm. a couple friends or whatever it might mm-hmm. be. So like if you are a girl's girl and you like being in the kitchen, like this is your time to cook a little something for everybody. That's nice. You know, maybe make a little whatever chili or, you know, something everybody can eat or yep. maybe some handheld foods like little sliders or, you know, all the bad things you really shouldn't be eating. But that's why we're here is for after Super Bowl, you can come to us that's and we right. can get all that happy weight off of you. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay to splurge everyone 
once in a while. We're all human, right? Absolutely. absolutely. So, you know, it's it, you can make it fun just depending on the environment, you know? So if you're in the kitchen, you can cook a little something. Mm -hmm. If you want to have a glass of wine, have a glass of wine, you know, and just sit back and relax, you know? It's treat it like a movie. Absolutely. Enjoy the game or they have those awesome commercials. So you guys commercials are always commercials, awesome. Right? And the halftime show is always cool. So the weekend's going to be doing the halftime show this year. So it's going to be a pretty big, big experience. At that point, you guys can you know look forward to watching that. If you guys remember like last anything. year? You guys remember last year's half yeah. show, halftime show? Oh, yeah. That was like... It was live. It was pretty live, I heard. Yeah. Oh, it was yeah. live for good and live for bad. I, yeah. mean, <laughs> I mean, I heard about it. I don't even think I got to see it. No. But, you know, I heard it was, uh, you yeah, know, a fun. Shaking, yeah. <laughs> a little shaking going on. Yeah. So I'm excited to see. You know, it's always fun. They do throw some things in there that, you know, girls can like too. Some girls like football. So, you know, they like to watch football games. They go to football games. It's not just a guy's sport, you know. Everything's for girls nowadays too. Yeah, right. <laughs> so this is just a, an experience that you guys can enjoy together, right? Because this is something that happens every year. You guys can, like I said, make the bets on the teams. Talk about some football. Maybe, you know, maybe your partner doesn't understand the game. Teach them. That's where, yeah, that's where, like, you know, like, teach them the game or teach them how it works. Yeah, and the girl could be like, hey, look at that point guard over there. Oh, my God. <laughs> they, just, they just slam dunked, right? They just slam dunked oh, that, right? God. Oh, my God. What a, that's an awesome slam dunk. Definitely not. Definitely not. Like, you know, babe, just be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> just, as John says, just sit there and look pretty. So... <laughs> There's other things that you guys can do too that can, that can make this experience fun. And let me tell you these other ways. So you're, the ways we've been talking about are sitting at home. Okay? That's the more traditional way I would think. But you can still get out. And if you're in decent weather like here in Florida, you can literally go outside and you guys can get like your little iPad or your phone and actually watch the game right there. So you can have an outdoor type thing. Uh, maybe a picnic type deal. I love picnics. You know, you can do all these different things and watch the game. So, you know, maybe the girl doesn't like football. That's awesome. But she likes picnics where you're going out and mm -hmm. doing something that she likes and you're doing something that you like together. So that it's really cool. And it's not just a one-way attitude like girls like, I, I don't care about betting on the game. I don't care about watching the game and stuff like that. But I'll go outside and sit out there and have a real nice little lunch or, or little early dinner with you out there that would be really cool that'd be cute and they'll think it's romantic too so hey, hey guys take this in consideration um you know another thing is is maybe you don't want to stay at home you guys can go out to you know a safe environment i know there's probably a lot of Social restaurants and involved. stuff like that you, you guys go. can go out and try to be safe doing that i know there's a lot of outdoor places um, still, and just depends on where you're at because I know some places got hit with snow this last week pretty hard or are still getting hit by snow. So if you guys are in that environment, uh, you guys are probably don't have too many options out there. But most of you guys will have the option to go somewhere inside or outside to watch the game, like a sports bar, restaurant, mm -hmm. uh, or any of those places. And that would be really cool too. I, I mean, mean, listen, for those of you out there, because we got to make sure we cover all bases, for those of you out there that don't like football, guys and girls, Use this time to do something cool because everyone's going to be watching the game. That's right. That's <laughs> so right. everybody's going to be watching the game. Yeah. That frees up all these cool places yeah. for you to go. Yeah. And it's not going to be slammed. There's not going to be a bunch of people. Yeah. This might be a good opportunity to do something you've been wanting to do for yeah. a while. And maybe, let's just say, for instance, let's just, let's just say it's a movie, right? And you don't want to go to the movies because a bunch of people are at the movies. Now everybody's watching the game. They're not at the movies. Yeah. And you want to go now because there's not going to be a bunch of people in there. Well, yeah. then go. Do yeah. that. Do yeah. something fun. Yeah. Make you, a day out of it. You can do totally something totally different than watching the Super Bowl, like she said. Because mm -hmm. there are some guys that don't like... You know, football. There are know? some guys that don't like and football. It is what it is. So at that point, if you guys both don't like the sport, hey, that's cool too. Like she said, go out, do an activity because people are going to literally be probably in like restaurants, like, you know, like Chili's, like those, those type of things, sports bars. You know, you're not going to probably see a whole bunch of people in fine dining restaurants because they don't, they don't have the big game yeah, on the TV. Yeah, they won't be playing the game. You know, so... At that point, you guys can do all these different cool things. Like here, you can go to Bush Gardens. There's probably not going to be too many exactly people Bush Gardens. Exactly what I was Gardens, thinking of. Right? Um, but, you know, it just depends on what your state is and, and what you have going on there. But here in Florida, you can pick a number of different things. Mm -hmm. and it, it is going to be wide open because everything's down here in Tampa downtown. It's crazy down here right now. And right now, we're in the middle of the week. So mm -hmm. it's just going to get even crazier on Sunday. But... Where you guys are at, it should be wide open. So take advantage of the time. And maybe you guys just want to sleep and have a good time in bed. That'd be nice. Hey, 
I do would love too. to do that. Take some rest, yeah. relaxation, de-stress together. Maybe you guys can binge and watch some other TV show. We that's love on doing there. that. That's fun. You know, order food, sit in bed all day, and kind of just relax. And then if somebody asks you, uh, "Did you watch Super Bowl game?" Like, "Yep, I did. I watched it was the highlights. A great time. Yep, yep. I, heard, I watched the highlights on uh, NFL or whatever. Yep, yep, I tuned in for the halftime show and <laughs> tuned out. So you guys will have this option about what you guys want to do. So. Make it a good day, one way or the other. And it doesn't have to be about football. It's really about you guys and your relationship and how to be better together. So <laughs> I'm John. I'm Cherie. And we appreciate you guys tuning in for another Cupid's Corner Super Bowl edition. And we will see you next Sunday again, 11 a.m. here on ABC. You guys can also check out all our past episodes on YouTube. Go to youtube.com, type in type medical center. We appreciate you guys, and we'll see you guys next week on another Cupid's Corner. See you then.